Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. My name is Mike Pellegrini, president of Lake Cape Train with Mike. Today we're here with our nutritionist Jasmine Gaddusi to talk about the do's and don'ts of breakfast. Now that we know that breakfast is important, what makes up a good breakfast? You want to make sure that you have a whole grain in your breakfast to provide um, fiber and uh, starch, carbohydrates. Uh, you want to make sure that there's a fruit or a vegetable. Uh, there should be a healthy protein, uh, some healthy fats, and if possible, a source of calcium. The first idea is to whip up your own breakfast smoothie, uh, as opposed to the ones that you could buy uh, out at restaurants. Very quick, you can make it with your blender at home, or you can use something like this magic bullet over here as well. What you would need uh, to use is some frozen fruit to get that nice thickness in your smoothie, mixed in maybe with half a banana. You're also gonna need a liquid, so you can choose uh, any milk of your choice, whether it be dairy milk or almond milk, for example, uh, or water if you prefer. You do need some protein. Uh, you can choose a protein supplement powder, such as a hemp or whey protein supplement. And then you can put in a healthy fat, like a flaxseed over here that we have. And then I would want to maybe um, complement that with uh, a whole grain. Uh, some people actually put uh, oatmeal into their, like dry oatmeal into their smoothie, or you can have maybe like a small homemade whole grain muffin on the side. Another example that I have would be to make a yogurt parfait. So basically you have your whole breakfast in a bowl. What you want to start with would be a plain uh, unsweetened yogurt. Uh, I prefer and us dietitians like to recommend uh, the new Greek yogurts that are out. They are very tasty, very, very thick um, and very high in protein. So that's a very good base to start with. Um, the next thing that I would recommend to add would be uh, some berries. Uh, we have some blueberries here, which would be a good example. I would top that off with a nice crunchy whole grain cereal. We have some all bran buds here. Another choice would be dry oats. That's another way to get in some good fiber. Uh, and then you could throw in a tablespoon or two of some flaxseed um, and then flavor it uh, with whatever flavorings you would like. I have vanilla or cinnamon uh, or honey or maple syrup. You could try a different combination of things uh, to, to sweeten it up. And then finally, maybe top it off with a small amount of nuts, such as walnuts or slivered almonds. Another example that I have, which is kind of fun to make, is a breakfast wrap. Make your own as opposed to the ones that you could find out there in the fast food world. So basically what you would need is a whole grain, make sure it's 100% whole grain tortilla, such as this one. And then there are a couple of different options that you can uh, use to put inside. One example would be to use um, a natural nut butter, uh, such as the one over here, we have uh, some almond butter. So put in a tablespoon or two of the almond butter, uh, then take a banana, small banana, put it inside, wrap it up, and you're good to go. Uh, another example would be to make uh, an omelet. So you just take uh, one whole egg and some egg whites um, and make an omelet out of that with a bunch of different great veggies that you have on hand. Um, again, put it in, wrap it up, and you're good to go. Take that with uh, a glass of milk of your choice um, or a latte and uh, you have a nice complete breakfast that'll keep you going for many hours. Another breakfast option would be to make a nice hearty bowl of oatmeal. I'm not talking about the instant oatmeal packs that are sweetened that you just put in, pour in and put in some hot water. That's not the type of breakfast I'm talking about. That has a lot of uh, added sugars and is not a significant big enough breakfast to keep you going. Um, what I'm suggesting is to use um, either something like this, which is a five grain uh, hot cereal that you can cook uh, at home, or even the instant packs, but the ones that are unsweetened, it's just plain oatmeal. Um, you're not gonna just leave it at that. You're gonna add different things again, the different components that I talked about, that again are gonna make a big substantial breakfast. So you're gonna start off with an oatmeal like that, and then you're gonna um, make it maybe with a milk of your choice or with water if you prefer. Um, and then you're going to add, uh, again, the berries that I mentioned before, frozen berries, you can slice in a banana, um, and then put in uh, some nuts, like the walnuts or slivered almonds or whatever nuts you have on hand. Uh, you can throw in a tablespoon, again, of the flaxseed and then flavor it with uh, different flavorings. You could try, again, the vanilla, the cinnamon, uh, honey, uh, or maple syrup. But again, at least you're controlling now the amount of sugar that you're adding to it, not the amount of sugar that you find in those packets, which could again add up to a good tablespoon of added sugars.